Hi, good morning. Um, it should be creative, but uh, I will try my best. I came after like four hours and a half of sleep, so, and after the whole aftermath of a, a GDPR day, all my inbox was, <laughs> I was like, I, I tried to do work, you know, but it was like every fucking, sorry, every minute was like full of, of those emails, and uh, somehow I was happy to delete so many because I wanted to get rid of, of yeah. Um, okay, question first. What's the essence of commitment for you? Because I will tell you afterwards what's for me. An idea, a word or a very short thing. Like, a, sorry? Keep your promise. Trust? Uh, but, but. Being present, even when it gets tough. Even when it gets tough. Well, you Raise your hand because it's easier. Like, <laughs> yeah, passion. passion. Oh, oh, you stole my thing. <laughs> okay, let's give more. <laughs> Motivation. Engagement. Engagement. Never give up. Never give up. Caring, about Caring about the others. Some more? One more. Yeah. Reliability. 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 Okay, so you said it all. Can we? <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's all about passion. And um, I think this, this thing drove me throughout my entire career and activity. And uh, I think without passion, it wouldn't be possible for me to, to achieve the things which I've done. And I'm, I'm kind of encouraging you to, to be very honest with yourself and to, when it's about you know, taking decisions or thinking about your, you know, in which part you would go or what you would do, I always ask myself this question. Is it something which I love to do? Is it something which you know, keeps me motivated? Is it something which, uh, am I seeing myself doing the same thing in 10 years or in 15 years with the same passion? And I remember when I was 18, I had this, you know, big moment of, uh, of uh, you know, deciding what am I doing because I was about in, in, in following uh, what, somehow I was prepared to do, like to, to pass an exam or to give an exam to the m medicine school here in Cluj. I was preparing, you know, I was studying. But then I f it, it came this opportunity to, to, to try to go to Bucharest and to become a student at the Film and Theatre Academy. And ultimately, I, I've, I've said to myself, you know, I, I love cinema, I love movies, I don't know what's, if I'm a good film director or not, actually I didn't even know what a movie director would do. I didn't, I haven't seen any, maybe from theater here from Cluj, but ultimately I think this thing related to passion and my passion for, for, for seeing movies and for understanding how the movies are being made, this was the, the final answer for me to, you know, to keep me or to, to pushing me to, to, to go through this uh, area. Um, then, I think somebody mentioned trust. For me, trust is very important because I think without 
without trust and without confidence, you could not do things. In I'm doing films, I'm directing and I'm producing, and each movie is like a roller coaster. And you have to talk to actors, which are like babies. Is it somebody here, an actor? <laughs> Sorry? Oh, thanks God. They are like babies. They want to be guided. It's like you, you know, they come at the first, very first day of shooting or before, you know, starting the movie and they, they have a script and they know their lines. They've imagined, they imagine like, you know, what you want to do with the movie. But they need to be, f you know, to be, you, you, you have to explain them, you, you have to picture them a world. You have to draw them a, a territory where they are afraid to go alone. And I think it's always a matter of trust between you as a director or you as a producer and your team. I remember when I started the, the Transylvania Film Festival in 2002, or in, actually it was 2001, the first year when we, you know, we were pitching the idea, when we were looking for money. Most of the people you know, looked at me and you know, I was of course you know, much younger, much thinner, you know, with big glasses. And, uh, and everybody was like, oh, yo, yeah, it's, so, it's so, such a good idea, but these guys are not, do not know nothing about what a film festival is, and it would be impossible for them to succeed. And everybody treated us, you know, with uh, this kind of uh, feeling like, yeah, they are so passionate about, about this project, but it's not going to work. So this was the thing which I was like, keep hearing for two or three years in a row. And coming back to trust, without the trust of my team, which I think they were, they were totally confident in me, even though I was not enough confident in the success of the project, because I knew what it meant, you know, to put together such a complicated project and to find, I, 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 I found actually yesterday an email from 2003, looking to the budget of the first edition, and it was around $150,000 at the time. Now we are running an operation of 1.4 or 1.5 million. But at that moment, you know, to, to rise this budget in, in Cluj and Bucharest in 2002 was kind of a tricky thing to do. So without the trust of my team, who was like, they were every day thinking that I know what I'm doing, but actually I didn't. I, I you know, I, I had some emails and I had a sort of a book about what it means to do a film festival and how to do it and what are the steps. But without, without their trust and without their commitment to the project, it wouldn't be possible to do anything. Um, I think commitment is, is somehow related to somebody I think was said was saying before about not giving up and uh, I have to say that uh, those two things are somehow are very connected one to another the passion and not giving up for me all the projects where I was involved and it I felt I have you know, I was passionate to do them. They were very good and they were very successful. I remember when I, I started doing music videos, I was working for Atomic TV. I think most of them, you know, yeah, all that yeah, crazy epoch. And, you know, when I received proposals from bands and or from like, you know, rock bands or hip hop bands, you know, when the music I, which I liked or I liked the artists, the videos were great. But of course, you have to do also some shit work to be paid. So I remember I, I, I got these proposals from, I don't even know the, the names, you know, but all these dance groups, you know, like three or four girls, you know, playing stupid songs at the sea or at the, you know, horrible. You, you, you might remember the names, I don't even... But I had to do those videos as to, you know, get some money because I wanted to buy a car. And I, and I remember, you know, I always was saying to myself, you know, I have to be committed, I have to do it. But, you know, the result was awful. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, you know, I'm not so embarrassed now, but, you know, because I forgot about those. But um, 
for me, every time I was saying, you know, after I finished one of the, those stupid videos, I was saying, I would not do anything like this because, you know, I have to do things which I, I really like and I have to do things where I really found, or I, I, I know there is a connection, like an intimate connection between my taste and my, uh, you know, yeah, it's about taste, I think, and the, and the music. Later on, I was, uh, you know, starting to do more, let's say, important things like producing films. And every time, you know, when you, when you receive a script or you meet a director, and it, it's something I think which is the same for you when you are, you know, meeting a new person or you are involving in a new project, there is a first kind of, uh, there is a first feeling, there is a first momentum when you, when you receive, you know, a paper or a person in your, and there is a, a momentum when you, when you say, you know, I like him or I like the project, and this, you know, gives you motivation. And I have to confess something. Every time when I had a doubt about a project or somebody, every time when something, you know, was fishy, but then I said, okay, maybe I'm too, you know, uh, dr you know drastic, or maybe I, it was like a wrong idea, and I said, okay, l let's give it a go. Let's try to work. Let's try to make this movie. Let's try to work with this. It, we failed, or it didn't turn out well, and uh, I think I learned this lesson every time, and every time also I, I, I failure, I think, is, is matching very well with, uh, with learning this lesson, that uh, you have to be committed in a project with people which you share the same values, people with who, you know, are like your, either your soulmates, because, you know, commitment, we can, you know, even a marriage is a, is a project, or people who are like very, you feel that you are, you know, working together in the same direction. Otherwise, you, you, you fail. And talking about failures um, and the lack of commitment, it happened to me a couple of times. I mean, my, my life was not just, you know, like, um, everything was like, you know, success after success. And I, I, I realized that most of the things which were not working for me, all these sad stories, let's say, were happening because I found it was a lack of commitment, but not to the others, to myself and to my, my plans and to my, you know, my ideas about what, am I, what I want to do. I remember once I read a book. It was an amazing book. I, I wanted to do... I have this rare, or it, it, it's not happening very often, to want to make a movie in the very next moment after you finish the book. And it's a book wrote by an important writer called Agota Christoph, and the book is called, uh, in Romanian, I think it's the, the trilogy of the uh, Gemini Lor. The trilogy. Yeah, the trilogy. Did somebody read this book? It's an amazing book. It's, it's about twins who are like being, uh, uh, it's happening in a, we might imagine that it's, it's, it's happening in the Second World War in Eastern Europe, but the author is not actually, you know, pointing exactly the, the country or the place, but it's about how two kids survive into a very harsh environment without the mother, without the father, because the mother is leaving them to live with their grandmother, who is a bitch. And, and it's about, you know, like a coming-to-age story, but it's, it's, it's an amazing thing. So I, I read this book and I said, oh, I'm fully committed to do this movie. And I think for me it's the most important thing which I want to do. And I said this to myself, and then I said, I have to buy the rights. I have to find out who owns the rights for this book. And, you know, some months have passed, and I forgot about it. And then... You know, I, I've seen the book in my, on, on the shelves, and I said, oh, the book, I have to, you know, look again. I went to Berlin, but, you know, I was at the movie, at the, at, at the film festival in Berlin, and we did so many things. We went to the screenings, 
I forgot another year. Then I did a movie, and then two more years have passed without me, you know, being honest to myself and to 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 realize that that book, you know, told me so many things, and I was so attracted to the book. And, and years have passed, and after five or six years since the first moment when I said, you know, I have to do it. I finally went to Berlin, went to the publishing house, met the right person, and she said, oh, I have to look for the rights. Called me next morning, I called next morning, and she said, oh, it might be available, make an offer. And then I said, okay, wow, I will, I will finally, you know, my, my dream will come true. And the second morning, I, I, I take, I looked on the internet, and it was like a big news saying, that a Hungarian director and a Hungarian production company, they were negotiating since, you know, two weeks before starting the festival, the, you know, optioning the rights for the book, and actually they, they signed the deal the day before. And I realized that, you know, the, of course my whole world was, was collapsing, and I thought, you know, I failed, of course, because of me, and I failed because... Um, I was not, you know, reacting at the right moment, and I was not committed to my plan, which was very sad. But yeah, more, more, uh, more other good things happened after. But before uh, going further, I want to show you some some images about. Uh, it's like a short video about another project which I did not do. So you will be, I think, the first ones to, 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 uh, uh, hold on. You'll be the first ones to see a project which is in inception in my mind since actually 10 years ago. 10 years ago, I was pitching this project in Rome at a, yeah, at a, like a, co-production market or a co-production uh, meeting for, for, you know, young producers and writers and everybody told me, wow, it's an amazing story, you have to do it, 2008. Petalle de crin, ai noci patin dulci și lucir de păcat, și rai trupul de șarpe felin. Gura ta e un poem de nebune dorin, sunii tăi un tezaur sublim. Ești un demon din vis, care turbur și min, dar ai zâmbetul de heruvin. Vreau să-mi spui frumoasă zarada Cine te-a iubit Cât au plâns nebune pentru tine Și cât au
It's a story about the most famous, I think, Romanian unknown dancer. And uh, it's a guy who is being known just by the, you know, very few people. But for me, he's like one of the most, through his story, which goes throughout, I think, decades, we can, you know, somehow picture the story of our country in the last 50 or 60 years. He was very famous in Bucharest in 1940. As you see, he was imprisoned, mostly because he was some homosexual, but also that, you know, a, a lot of artists were, were being imprisoned in the 50s. Then he was trying to make a life. He was beaten, like totally destroyed, you know, the legs, the muscles and so on. He tried to make a life. He became a cho choreographer and he died alone in Galatz in 1990. He was born, you know, funnily enough, in, in December 22nd. And he witnessed the revolution in Galatz, or what was called the revolution. And then he died alone in 1990 in January. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a life. He, 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 he was painting icons. He was like a monk, very, you know, lonely. And people were forgetting about his stardom and his, his you know, magic when he was enchanting generations in, in, in Bucharest at the opera. Anyway, it's an example of a story which is here in my mind for more than 10 years. And always when I'm coming back to this, I'm saying it's about me. And it's about my lack of commitment to this story. Because every time, you know, there is something else. There is TIFF, there is another project. And always I'm, I'm kind of not being able for certain obscure reasons to what I think I found it's an important, or it would be an important project for me. And I feel this project, it's the one which I would like to do. But it's also about fear, that I feel that it's gonna be very complicated to put it together, to write it, to find the money, to do it. But somehow, I promise you all that maybe in some years, uh, you know, the commitment will, will, will win. At the end, um, one thing about personal relationships. Uh, all of you, uh, you know, are, have uh, encountered lots of uh, problems and issues in your, you know, having a great relationship with your partner, with your husband, with your wife, whatever. And it happened to me recently that I have a very good friend who who was telling me that, you know, I have a girlfriend for five years and, uh, you know, she, we break up and uh, it was all about she, that, you know, she didn't understand, he's an actor, uh, so. <laughs> she does not understand me and, and that and, uh, you know, it's so difficult and she wanted all now and she wanted, and I said, yeah, but, you know, you are for five years together and, you know, she's 32 and, you know, she, ask questions and you are not committed and you didn't you didn't give any answer to to your girlfriend and now you are angry on her that you know she just left and you know leave you with uh, all these question marks and uh, you are sad and depressed and of course he was trying to you know find all these uh, you know answers and strategies of uh, you know saying that actually it was her and not about him but I realized that, you know, when we talk about major things uh, or major projects, we are trying, you know, to be, uh, you know, to be brave and to, 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 be, to find, you know, the great answers or whatever. But when, it, when we talk about our own, uh, our, our soul, our heart, our very intimate problems, we are not so honest with ourselves. And I think it's so difficult to, to be committed in a, or to, to find or to understand your partner or to, you know, coming back to the beginning, to the passion and to the trust in your partner. And um, yeah, it's something which, uh, which you might also, these themes you might, you might see in my, in my next movie, which will gonna be released in October. It's called Parking and uh, it's a love story. Um, 
at the end before your questions. Um, I just want to, to summarize somehow the whole thing, saying that uh, I think um, you, if you want to reach a goal, I think desire and determination are, are, the, are the two things or the two, two concepts which would lead you throughout the, the whole you know, journey of achieving the result. But without commitment, it would be impossible to, to go throughout the route because I think commitment is the only, for me, uh, commitment is the only aspect, is the only, uh, I made some notes here, yeah, it's the determination and commitment to unrelenting pursuit of your goal. So be committed and stay focused. Thank you.